report released today says the Iowa Democratic Party is to blame for the problems during and after the Iowa caucuses. The independent report found that the state party failed to handle the number of calls coming in caucus night and did not properly communicate with campaigns and the press. But as KCCI's Kayla James shows us, the Democratic National Committee's involvement with the 2020 Iowa caucus app played a huge role also. This is the 26 page report released to the Iowa Democratic Party Saturday, outlining several conclusions on just where the 2020 caucus went wrong. Of the issues addressed, the audit emphasizes delay in reporting results and the app used on caucus night by precinct chairs. Users received no training on the installation or usage of the app. The app, developed by the technology company Shadow, wasn't released until January 18th. The audit attributes the delay in the app's development to both the Iowa Democratic Party and Shadow, but also to the Democratic National Committee, who didn't grant approval of the project until August of 2019. Furthermore, the report finds the DNC's request to receive real-time data played a role in the errors on caucus night. 20, 21, 22, 23. When the DNC database's conversion tool failed to work correctly, it caused the DNC to wrongly stop the IDP from reporting its results. We didn't hear back from the DNC when we reached out on Saturday, but the report did find the app wasn't hacked or compromised. In a statement sent Saturday afternoon, the Iowa Democratic Party chair Mark Smith referenced the report and what comes next, saying they need to, quote, heed these lessons, listen to each other's ideas, and work together to move forward. But what does moving forward look like? This isn't something uh, that we can just say, let's move on. We spoke with Democratic analyst Jeff Link on Saturday. He credits volunteers who organized the caucus and precincts for doing an excellent job. He says their reporting was the issue. Link says Iowa may have to take a hard look and determine if it's best to continue with caucuses or consider moving to a primary. We have to work with the Republican Party and the Democratic Party and all of our leaders to figure out how how is the best way to move forward. Kayla James, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. Iowa GOP Chair Jeff Kaufman released a statement saying in part the Republican Party of Iowa remains committed to remaining first in the nation along with our colleagues at the Iowa Democratic Party.